All right, this is uh, part three of making the lace here for this top here. And I did not make the top if I said in my other videos. Uh, credit to the person that made this. And this is going to be the last uh, part of the video. This is part three, and this is going to be making a ribbon for this little top piece right here. Uh, it's got a little kink in there on the top. I put that in there intentionally because that's where the ribbon's going to go. And if you ain't seen part one and part two, uh, go ahead and see that first. And this will be the last and the final part. And we'll just go to the lines tab and uh, we'll select a circle here. And we'll just select here and drag out. You can tap the space bar and we'll get a kind of oval shape here. Alright, that looks, that looks alright. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get a... Let me go ahead and turn this a little bit kind of offset it just a little bit control C control V get another copy let's turn it kind of the other way and we'll kind of scale it down maybe tip it into the other one and we'll go ahead and snap the two tops together kind of alright that looks alright then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll select the lines tab and we could go with a curve I guess and we'll select here we go in the front view here and select here 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 and let's go with the polyline we'll do the same thing select here we'll kind of make it like that all right we'll select these right here by the control key and we'll go to the uh, surface modeling and add a little bit of thickness to it all right that looks all right right click and um, we'll go ahead and group these here And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this back down. I am going to go ahead. I'm going to need a. I will need a sphere here. I'm going to use this right here. Scale this down. We'll grab this triangle and just kind of shift snap it right here somewhere. And let's make this uh, kind of flat a little bit, I guess. We can just grab this right here and just drag it into this group. Let's try that again. There it goes. And we'll just go ahead and bring this over here. Uh, let's turn on some frame here and see what we got. And I'll just use this. Uh, I'll use the utility and snap line again, and we'll just select. Somewhere around the top here, I guess, with the shift key. And I got a little, uh, got a little dip down in this right here. I want to set it about right here. I'll hold the shift key and snap it right there. And before I should have did that, I should have scaled it down, which I'm going to do now. It's a little too big. I think that's going to get it right there. Let's see. Alright, let's try that again with a snap line. Shift key here. Oh, we don't need to turn on the frame here. Let's try that again. Another thing is, I on these right here, you can see that uh, I got thickness on all these. I should have clapped the DG, so it's not necessary. But I just I mean, when you run into problems, sometimes that's that's the main culprit right there that will cause you some problems. So let's say that I want to. Uh, I don't know. That looks all right there. 
look at that in smooth mode. Oh, it needs to come up just a little bit, not a lot. That's so how you can make your little lace for it, and that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and zoom in here so you can see a little bit better. And if you ever wanted to turn this uh, right here, you can always right click and set pivot. And you can set the pivot up here if you want to rotate it in ang any angle that you want. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up. And thank you very much.